The Earth's history and how it has changed over the years. If we mentally fast forward to almost 5 billion years ago, we will see our Earth still in sight. But on the other hand, a new star was already born. This is our Sun at this specific time, and the most interesting thing began to happen. The cosmic dust that is in space began to coalesce and small stones gradually formed. This process took place over the course of 10 minutes of an interesting chronology that began billions of years ago and ended with the time in which we live. Four and a half billion years ago, our Earth existed in the form of a ball, or rather an elliptical shape. However, during this time, it was a scorching fireball with temperatures exceeding 1200 degrees Celsius. The Earth was surrounded by a dense atmosphere consisting mainly of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. There was no breathable air, and the planet's surface was a molten mass of liquid lava, devoid of any solid surfaces. It was during this tumultuous period that another unexpected event unfolded. A planet, almost as young as our Earth, called Dia, suddenly hurtled towards our planet at an astonishing speed of about 15 kilometers per second. This Mars-sized planet was on a collision course with Earth. The impact was cataclysmic, resulting in a colossal collision that reverberated throughout space. In just a thousand years, a ring-like structure formed around Earth, resembling the iconic rings of Saturn. And over time, this ring coalesced and transformed into a spherical body with a diameter of approximately 3,000 kilometers. This remarkable event marked the birth of our moon. At its inception, the moon was much closer to Earth than it is today. The tremendous impact caused Earth's rotation to accelerate significantly, resulting in a day that lasted merely six hours. However, as time went on, approximately 600 million years ago, a period of intense meteorite bombardment commenced on the young Earth. Countless meteorites, remnants of the solar system's formation, began to rain down upon the planet. Interestingly, these meteorites carried with them a precious resource, water, albeit in small quantities. This influx of meteorites and the inclusion of water within them would have significant implications for the future of Earth. As the young planet gradually cooled and stabilized, these water-bearing meteorites would contribute to the formation of oceans and the development of the Earth's unique ecosystem. The stage was set for the emergence of life as we know it. Looking back at this turbulent past, we gain a deeper understanding of our planet's origins and the extraordinary events that shaped it. From a fiery inferno to the birth of our moon and the arrival of meteorites carrying the essence of water, Earth's journey has been nothing short of remarkable. It serves as a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life on our precious planet. As we continue to explore the mysteries of the universe, we are reminded of the interconnectedness of all celestial bodies and the delicate balance that allows life to thrive. Our Earth, with its rich history and awe-inspiring transformations, remains a testament to the grandeur and complexity of the cosmos. Because of this protracted bombardment, which lasted for 20 million years, reservoirs started to form on the surface of the globe, be referred to as terrestrial. So the water that we currently see on our Earth and that we use is of extraterrestrial origin. And the age of this water is millions and millions of years due to the strong attraction of the Moon, which was still close to the Earth for many millions of years. Over time, the oceans raged with incredible, terrible force. The Moon gradually moved away, and the seas and oceans calmed down. 700 million years after the Earth's creation, the Earth started to rotate more slowly. After three billion years, as our planet underwent transformative changes, meteorites continued to bombard Earth. However, these meteorites brought more than just water when they crashed into the depths of the oceans. Upon contact with water, these celestial visitors unleashed a cascade of chemical reactions involving various substances present in the environment. It was within this dynamic interplay that the first traces of life emerged. Incredibly, these early life forms took the shape of unicellular bacteria. This marked a pivotal moment in the history of our planet, the dawn of life itself. For hundreds of millions of years, these unicellular bacteria remained relatively unchanged. However, over time, they gradually began to form colonies known as stromatolites. These colonies developed underwater, harnessing a well-known process called photosynthesis. Through photosynthesis, stromatolites absorbed sunlight and utilized it to convert carbon dioxide, water, and glucose into oxygen. This gradual and transformative process began to fill the oceans with oxygen, catalyzing a monumental shift in the planet's chemistry. The remains of meteorites and the once molten lava became saturated with iron as oxygen interacted with these materials. Little did these ancient life forms know that their actions would lay the groundwork for a vital resource that would later be harnessed by humankind in construction and various industries. 
The slow and steady accumulation of oxygen in the oceans set the stage for the next chapter in the planet's history. The oxygen-rich atmosphere allowed for the emergence of more complex life forms, paving the way for the diverse ecosystems we see today. From these humble beginnings, life on Earth embarked on an extraordinary journey of adaptation and evolution. As we reflect on this remarkable narrative, we gain a profound appreciation for the interconnectedness of all living things and the profound impact that simple organisms had on shaping our world. The evolution of unicellular bacteria into stromatolite colonies and the subsequent oxygenation of our planet's atmosphere established the conditions necessary for the flourishing of life in all its myriad forms. Today, as we marvel at the complexity and diversity of life on Earth, we are reminded of the intricate web of existence that spans the planet the legacy of those early unicellular organisms and the stromatolite colonies they formed lives on in the rich tapestry of life that surrounds us. It is a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of life, constantly adapting and thriving against all odds. As we continue to explore the depths of our planet's history and unravel the mysteries of life's origins, we are humbled by the vastness of the universe and the countless wonders it holds. Our planet, with its intricate tapestry of life, stands as a testament to the extraordinary possibilities that arise from even the simplest beginnings. Oxygen gradually collects above the water and begins to form an atmosphere. It turns out that without these stromatolites, there would never be anything alive. Another two billion years pass and the level of oxygen on the Earth is getting higher, the rotation of the Earth is getting slower, and the days are getting longer and a half billion years ago, when the Earth was already almost created all the conditions for life, the Earth's core and fiery lava underwater presented new surprises fiery underwater plates began to split and come out of the water, thereby gradually forming continents while still lifeless huge tracts of land resembled Mars, but almost everything was ready for a new round in the history of the Earth to the evolution of life all over the Earth. Volcanic activity began, the Earth is splitting into parts, forming new continents, carbon dioxide emitted by the Earth mixes with water, forming acid rain, and acid rain is absorbed into rocks. So now many rocks contain carbon dioxide for several thousand years. The temperature drops to minus 50 degrees Celsius and our entire planet is enveloped in ice up to three kilometers thick from ice. All sunlight and heat is reflected from the Earth back into space, but the permafrost turned out to be on the Earth, not the eternal Earth's core. It was still just as hot everywhere all over the Earth. Volcanoes arose and ejected no rocks were visible into the atmosphere of carbon dioxide from ice, where this gas could be absorbed and therefore it enveloped the atmosphere, thereby creating a warm cover for the surface of the Earth. After 15 million years of this battle between heat and cold, the ice ultimately started to melt as a result of chemical interactions between the ice and the sun. Even more oxygen is now present. All bacteria died and only those that were deep in the water survived the ice period 600 million years ago when the air temperature was equivalent to ours. The first worms appeared, followed by sponges and trilobites, which were distant cousins of the first insects, barely perceptible bacteria, and eventually increased and bone skeletons started to grow within them. At this point, it already resembles the earliest molluscan monsters. The radiation from the sun is to blame for all of this, and now after some time, it happens another of nature's wonders. Oxygen that comes out of the ocean enters into a chemical reaction with radiation and begins to form a new gas ozone in Oz. Thousands of different plants and animals already live and thrive in the oceans, but all these already quite complex organisms cannot yet live on land. It is completely rocky and devoid of any sign of life. Tiktaalik, one of the earliest fish, is currently swimming in the ocean. Tiktaalik emerges from the sea precisely where there is a lot of terrestrial flora, using its fins as paws. This fish is the only terrestrial animal or reptile that has spent 15 million years gradually evolving into a quadruped. 360 million years ago, creatures like dinosaurs, birds, and mammals started migrating from the sea to land, and at that time, the earth started to be covered in mosses and giant ferns, creating forests and jungles that had no end. However, this is just the beginning of the nature of origin. The following issue will have the rest of this narrative. If you enjoyed the article, raise your finger to subscribe to our channel. Also ring the bell to be among the first to learn about fascinating new releases.